Tonight, new warnings that an Islamic military group might be gearing up near the Mexican border for a terrorist attack on the U.S. And the discovery of an ISIS laptop has prompted tougher security measures at some overseas airports. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan joins us now with more on this developing story. Dave. A lot to talk about tonight. The Homeland Security says they have no information about a specific attack from ISIS coming up in the U.S., but this is coming from other sources. This week, the Texas Department of Public Safety issued a bulletin warning that a review of ISIS social media messaging indicates they're showing interest in trying to sneak across the southwest border from Mexico for a terror attack inside the U.S. The warning that ISIS might be pondering the idea of terrorist attacks in the U.S. after infiltrating the country by crossing in from Mexico comes less than two weeks before the anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. And while the Department of Homeland Security says it knows of no specific credible threat to the U.S. from ISIS, border security and terrorism experts say this group has pulled off surprises in the past. The capability, the intent, the desire, and the vulnerability are all there. And I think that what raises the uh, spidey sense of many of the uh, people that watch and observe this from a security and from a national, you know, a national uh, a defense standpoint. Frank Douse, a former defense intelligence official, spent more than two decades in tactical, operational, and intelligence positions. If a 14-year-old girl can get across the border through the desert, I think a, you know, a scrapping 26-year-old ISIS-motivated terrorist uh, can, can certainly do that. And these are guys that understand how to travel in dusty places with no water. Uh, they do this for a living. Now more on the laptop of doom. It was recovered from an ISIS hideout, according to foreignpolicy.com, and it contains thousands of files, some of them dealing with how to carry out biological warfare and spread the bubonic, bubonic plague and other diseases by creating biological weaponry. And perhaps the most chilling passage in the instructions was this. The advantage of biological weapons, they said, is that they do not cost a lot of money, while the human casualties can be huge. Sylvia? We'll be uh, looking for more on that.